I heard the Lord, not with, in my mind, but in my intuition, say to me, this is what's coming next. The world is going to start pinpointing scriptures like the one that you just read, where it says the Jews did whatever they wanted to with their enemies, and they're going to use scriptures like that to foster and booster anti-Semitism. They're going to start focusing on Jews bombing just, uh, places in, uh, the, uh, the, in, in, on their borders where they're being bombed and attacked to protect themselves, but they're not going to show the Jewish people protecting themselves. The media is going to show the Jewish people bombing places to protect themselves where children are getting hurt, hurt because you can't always, sometimes it just happens in war, and the world is going to turn against the Jews once again. The world is getting ready, beloved, for the biggest anti-Semitic attack against Jewish people that the world has ever known. That is, that is, that's exactly, that's eerie. That's exactly what happened. Rabbi Chris Schneider joining me right now to talk about this. Uh, it's good to see you, sir. You, you made this prediction back in July. I guess the natural question, the first natural question is, how did you know and then what was going through your mind when you saw the attack actually happening on October 7th? Well, first of all, that was the first time that I had ever had an experience like that, Chris. I got up in the first week of July. I was just doing my daily regimented Bible reading, and I was reading through the book of Esther, and I was reading in the ninth chapter about how the Jews did what they wanted to with their enemies after the enemy's plot to destroy them was failed. And as soon as I read it, it was like a download of knowing came into my soul and mind. And instantly, I just knew what was going to happen, that Israel was going to be attacked. In response to that attack, they would have fighting and bombing of those that attacked them near the borders, and that the media would portray it in such a way that Israel was going to look like a war criminal, insensitive and inhumane, that the media was going to use it to show Israel taking the lives or to, uh, I should say, um, that in the process of Israel's defense, innocent people, children and so on and so forth, would be killed. Yeah. And the media was trade that in a way in which it would launch the biggest anti-Semitic attack against Jewish people that we've seen since World War II. I just knew it. And what's really interesting is I knew it so deeply that instantly I went to my studio and I said, we're going to be doing a YouTube live because I've got to tell and share what the Lord just showed me. It's the first time something like that ever happened to me. And exactly three months later, wow. it happened. And I should say that at the time that the Lord gave me this prophetic download, showing me what was going to happen, there was nothing going on in Israel at the time. It had been completely quiet. In fact, Cynthia and I, my wife, were in Israel on October 7th when the war broke out. We were staying in an uh -huh. apartment in Jerusalem, and when we got to the apartment, Cynthia asked the, the manager of the apartment, well, is there a bomb shelter here? And he just kind of laughed at her and said, you know, we haven't used that for years, but and I'll show you where it is. So there was nothing brewing that led me to have such a thought. I just knew that I knew. Well, okay, so then, so then and the follow-up question is, so, because, you know, whenever I make predictions about the left, and I'm right because I know these people like, like the back of my hand, you know, it's sometimes I hate being right about the nature of, of my political enemies. When you're sitting here watching everything that you said in July coming true, from the media reaction to the, to the worldwide condemnation, the rise of anti-Semitism, when you're watching these, these protests on college campuses, what's going through your brain? Well... You know, I think life is such a struggle for everybody in these days that we're living. There's just so much darkness in the earth. There's so much shifting that has taken place in the spiritual atmosphere that I'm not really all that focused on the fact that this prophetic word came to pass. I'm more just focused, Chris, on living for the Lord and being obedient to the Holy Spirit every day and getting strengthened and rooted in him so that I can victoriously live through the okay. darkness that we're facing and that will continue to increase.